River Song uses her diary. Amy Pond mentions to Lorna Bucket that she first met the doctor when she was a little girl and how he came back for her. The doctor and Amy discuss Amy's time as a ganger, particularly about how Amy saw a hatch opening and Madame Covarian appearing behind it. The doctor explains this as reality bleeding through and states that Amy must have been kidnapped before the events in America. When talking to baby Melody, the doctor seems to repeat his belief that bow ties are cool. The doctor has said before that he speaks every language. Dorian Maldivar believes he sold the headless monk's security software to them. Closing parenthesis. The doctor tells Amy, I am so sorry, similar to the catchphrase of his tenth incarnation. The doctor has several flashbacks. Rory wears his centurion armor and displays the warrior skills he developed while guarding the Pandorica for 2,000 years. This episode ends the mystery of River Song's identity. While in the library, River Song commented that the doctor could make whole armies turn and run. The doctor gives a brief history of Rory's time in the TARDIS to Vastra. He references Rory facing sexy fish vampires, dying and being erased from time then becoming plastic and coming back. He also mentions rebooting the universe. The doctor implies that, since rebooting the universe, reality has been altered. He says that Rory and Amy were in the TARDIS together for the first time, in this reality, on their wedding night. This creates some uncertainty as to which events of the pre-Pandorica Opens stories actually occurred in the current timeline, although it is clear that the doctor remembers them. The fat one tells the thin one a rumor that the doctor once chased the Atraxi off a planet and called them back for a scolding. This may confirm that some events involving the time cracks fixed by the Big Bang 2 still have happened in this reality. Cybermen, Santarans, Silurians, and Judoon also all appeared in TV, The Pandorica Opens. Henry Avery and his son Toby. Jenny Flint also mentions Henry's crew briefly before being interrupted. The church make their second appearance. Although some soldiers have the rank of cleric printed on their uniforms, Manton is referred to as colonel instead of a religious rank such as bishop. The dates given on screen mean this is the church a century after their first appearance. A fake version of Amy and Rory's child turns out to be flesh. This episode marks the first appearance of the headless monks, although they have been mentioned before. Dorium says that the headless monks are customers of his. Dorium's headless body is moving after the headless monks decapitate him, and is soon slain in battle. We later see what became of his head. The doctor has created an army composed of some of his old enemies before. The doctor is once again referred to as, not being, a goblin and a trickster. The novel prose, Dark Horizons, however, will reveal that the description of the doctor as a trickster is in fact accurate to a degree. The only water in the forest is the river, which river uses to explain why the people of the Gamma forests translate pond to river, was spoken to Rory by Idris. The doctor said it would mean something someday. The doctor has previously had a group of soldiers aim their guns at him. In this case though, he gives the soldiers permission to aim. From previous talks with the doctor, Vastra believes that the Time Lords evolved through billions of years of continued exposure to the Time Vortex through the untempered schism. When River appears at Demon's Run, she wears an outfit that she wore during their time in America in 1969. The TARDIS hum is heard as it is revealed in the Victorian drawing room. The idea that the word, doctor, came to mean, great warrior, on other worlds falls in line with an incarnation of the doctor who was purposely created to be a warrior in the time war. The papal mainframe is briefly mentioned as the authority which allowed the lowering of the headless monk's hoods. It is later explained that the mainframe is a space church. Lorna Bucket has previously met the doctor. River's name is translated in the language of the forest from Melody Pond. Incidentally, Rivers is fated to meet her end in a place of forests, the library, where the residing Vashta Narada deemed the books stored inside to be their forests, as the books were printed with paper from the trees of the Vashta Narada's forests. The majority of this episode features the first event in River Song's timeline, the next event is for her when she's a child in TV, The Impossible Astronaut, Day of the Moon.